Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Review Starlight, and as you can see from the video title, this is going to be a video about the rates of rerolling and the rates of summoning. Um, I've done the math for you. I am a stats major, so you can trust that my math is correct. I would, I will explain to you how I got to my figures, but um, just trust me that it is correct. Okay, I am very, very sure about it. Also, I will touch a little bit more on why the new character Michiru Otonashi, Heracles Michiru, why she is so so good. I will explain why she makes the current tank, I mean the previous tank, which is Maya Tendo, why she makes Maya Tendo so, not say useless, but so redundant, so to speak. She is still good, Maya Tendo is still good. I would use Maya and Michiru at the same time, but Michiru seems to be a big step ahead and once I'm done with this in uh, this uh, tutorial I will explain to you I will show you what's so good about Michiru so I'll see you in just a bit change my name to please keep luck all right let's go okay um, I am finally done with tutorial for like the 50th time I mean I've been rerolling for two days straight because Michiru hasn't been released today, has been released yesterday, and I'm way behind schedule. I really need her right now. So about 50 rolls in, and I still have not gotten a single Michiru. I am way below the rates, and I'll explain why. But okay, in order for you to understand why Michiru is so great, you first need to know why Maya Tendo was so great, okay? Maya Tendo is the first and only 4-star tank in the game. She was the only tank in the game until they introduced Heracles Michiru. And what's so good about Maya Tendo is that she is extremely tanky. And she has a this slash of brilliance, which is very, very nice. She can she can get herself to uh, climax in the first turn it's in the first turn itself. Yes, legit. She can get herself in, into climax in the first turn itself. Really good. And also she has this provoke. I don't think there is any other character with this provoke ability, or if they do, they're probably at 3 stars. And uh, in this game, the, the difference in stats between a 3 and a 4 star is huge. Really, really big. The difference is, I think, about 30% based on whatever I've noticed. I, I don't know whether are these facts, but it's what I've noticed is about 30%. Huge difference. So we only focus on 4 star tanks, and she's the only tank, so that's what made her so great because of her insane stats supposedly insane stats and of course she provokes and she provides a normal barrier normal barrier means when enemies inflict normal damage on her she will soak that damage up for three turns uh, un or until the shield expires because of the, sh the shield HP being depleted so yeah that's what made her so great she's super tanky she can stand alone frontline tank through all your shit really all everything done and of course, she does damage to all enemies, which makes her an excellent pick for the arena. She is probably the best pick um, before the current Michiru patch. So, knowing that Maya Tendo is the only viable tank in the game, naturally the characters that will outshine her are characters that do not do normal damage. This. Instead, you will have characters that do special damage, not this, not this girl. Although, although she's not too bad. She only does damage to one single character. Um, let's see whether are there any options here for me to show. None. Um, what about here? Normal, normal, special. Oh yes, Yachiyo. So because of Maya Tendo, Yachiyo became an extremely uh, specified choice for most competitive players. Because firstly, she has a she has a dream typing here which means that she does extra damage to all other types but she also takes extra damage from all other types and also she she possesses high act power and she has this which allows her to go into climax on the first turn and also high damage and poison to all enemies she she's the reason why Maya Tendo's become so fragile like she can just cut through she negates Maya Tendo's um, third skill, which is uh, the normal barrier and the provoke. She completely negates it just because she's just gonna do damage to everyone, she's just gonna do special damage. 
uh, Maya Shield is not going to matter at all. So yeah, that's why Yachiro was such a big hit. She was so OP. You can just focus all the resources on her and she can just like sweep the field on the second turn because she can climax by then. So that's why she's so good. So knowing these two characters, which are supposedly the best characters back then, now you understand why Heracles Michiru is so good. So let's look at her. This is a tank <laughs> who is strong against special damage. Okay, so firstly you had Maya who was strong against normal damage but completely negated because of Yachiyo. Completely negated. And it's not just Yachiyo, there are a few other characters like... Um, let me think. Uh, Juna... Juna for the Musketeers uh, selection. Juna. She also does uh, special damage and she reduces special defense as well. AoE, completely AoE. She's one of the excellent choices. She's the bow user with the green green colored outfit. Uh, what's good about Michiru? She has Slash of Brilliance. Any character with Slash of Brilliance is going to be really good. Because on her first turn, like I said before, you can, you can achieve Climax. And look at this. Poison Immunity. <laughs> poison Immunity. <laughs> and Act Power Up. And Special Barrier to all allies. This is... Oh my goodness. This is craziest combination ever. Poison Immunity. Obviously, Yachiyo is not going to do anything. Because Yachiyo's damage... I mean, a bulk of it. Okay, a bulk of it comes from her poison damage. So this character has poison immunity and special barrier. Yachiyo is completely negated. So previously, you had Maya Tendo who was the sole tank. And you had Yachiyo who is the sole destroyer of that tank. And now you have a tank. And I mean, like, everyone is running with Yachiyo right now. And now you have a tank that completely negates the entirety of Yachiyo. That's how good Michiru is. And of course, uh, she has this fortitude and normal barrier and special barrier to self. So, fortitude means that it's like endure. It's like Pokemon endure. When you when you die by a hit, instead of dying, you survive with one HP. That's it. But the thing is, you got normal barrier and special barrier to yourself. Whew, this is really good. She's both specially defensive and normally defensive as well. This is what makes her so OP. So this is why I am rerolling my entire account just to get Michiru and I feel like it's gonna be worth it and of course I am 40 rolls in and I still do not have Michiru so let me just explain the, the rates a little bit okay so this is the this is the situation that I'm facing right now as you can see of the details the net fall rate is 1.2% it is 1.2% for every single thing uh, this is like what a 9th slot will guarantee something then this one is like a 10th slot will guarantee something it's all 1.2. In all banners, net fall rates are 1.2. I've never seen any banner with anything more than 1.2% for net fall rate. And because net falls are so much better than net 3s, you really do not want to care about net 3s at all. You do not even want to be bothered about the, the gacha rates of net 3s. Like for example, net 3s are 3.6%, but then you know the guaranteed 3 star plus slot, it increases a bit, but you know what, who, who cares? They are, they are really useless in terms of the meta. Uh, there's no point going for a 3 star when you can go for a 4 star so yeah that's the whole point of re-rolling right you just want to get the best so let's talk a little bit about the rate so whenever you re-roll you get 4500 uh, gems I mean assuming that you're playing around my period which is uh, what's this date uh, 28 April today 28 April 2019 it might, it might defer next time it might, be, it might get lower so if you're playing around this period you get 4500 there are two things you can do Two things. The first is you devote 1,500 into this step up, and then you drop the rest of the 3,000 into Michiru. All right, don't do this. Don't do this first because you can definitely get the 3,000 within the day itself. In fact, you can get a 3,000 within the next couple hours. So you want to invest into Michiru because she's so great. This is your focus for rerolling. I would say that this is gonna be a strong focus. Okay, so the probability of getting at least one net four in 20 pulls is one minus the probability of not getting a net four to the power of 20 which is 21.5 percent so the probability of getting at least one random net four in 20 pulls is 21.5 percent what this means is uh you are only expected to re-roll about 4.65 times before you get a new net five I mean, you can get one of the random net fives, at least one, 
you're, ex you're only expected to reroll 4.65 times, that's very doable. Uh, but the probability of getting at least 2 net force in 20 pools is uh, it's gonna be a bit more complicated. It's that 21.5% minus the probability of only 1 net force in 20 pools, and that reduces from 21.5% to 2.4%. So the probability of getting at least 2 net force in 20 pools is 2.4% down from at least 1 at 4 in 20 pulls, which is 21.5% and the expected number of re-rolls that you need to do to get at least 2 net force in 20 pulls is 41.67 so you almost need to re-roll re another 10 times more not even, I'm not talking about an additional 10 times but multiplicatively from 4.65 re-rolls to 41.65 re-rolls 41.67 sorry so should you aim to achieve for 2 re-roll eh, for 2 net force per reroll? Absolutely not. I don't think it's worth rerolling 41.67 times just to get 2 net force. It doesn't really make a lot of sense, to be honest. You're wasting a lot of time. Um, however, the probability of getting Michiru in 10 pools, in 10 pools, which means that you're gonna go with this, uh, you're gonna go with this step up first, followed by 10 featured, that is going to be. 1 minus the probability of not Michiru to the power 10, which is 6.78%. So you that the probability of getting a Michiru in 10 pools is 6.78%. So the expected number of re-rolls is 1 divided by 0 0.0678, which is 14.75 uh, times. So roughly, if you re-roll for about 15 times, you should expect to get Michiru in this 10 pool. Uh, that's not, that's exactly my point, that's not what I've noticed at all. In fact, I haven't even noticed myself getting a single net 4 in 5 rerolls. It's extremely rare. Uh, however, let's say you skip this, alright, you skip this, and you just go for 15 pulls of this, which means 10 plus the 5, 10 here, plus 5 here. The probability of getting a Michiru in 15 pulls is 10%, it's exactly 10%. I mean, it's 10 point something, but it's like 10.00000 something. So it's 10%, which means you're expected to reroll about 10 times and you can get Michiru. And I would definitely go, I would definitely opt for this because you, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah it's kind of like a little bit more expensive than going for this, right? However, when you go for this, this thing doesn't disappear. This thing is still here. So you can always go back into it. You're not going to lose out at all. But what's most important is to get Michiru based on what I've just explained, how useful she is. So yeah, uh, what I would suggest is every time you reroll, you just do 15 pulls on this. And if you do not get her, just redo. However, the problem that I've noticed is that even after like 40 to 50 rerolls, I still have not gotten her. I And my net 4 rate isn't even as high as 4.65 rerolls for at least one net 5. Oh, one net, one net 4. I've never even gotten double net force in my entire reroll life. Never gotten a double. So I'm not sure whether is it tweaked, but of course people are people down in the comments they may say stuff like like there's just uh, skepticism. I believe it's skepticism as well. Um, okay, does it make sense to pull ten here and five here? Because as you can see, there is this guaranteed three star prize and a two star stage goal. I forgot to explain this. Um, yes, it makes absolutely 100% sense to go for 15 pulls because just look at the rates here, okay? 1.2%, 1.2%, 1.2%. Uh, nothing changes, even though you got a guaranteed 2 star girl slot, guaranteed 3 star girl slot, I mean 3 star plus slot, the rate of the net 4 doesn't change. The only thing that changes is your rate of your net 3 and your net 2, but like I said, no one cares. No one cares about getting a net 3. Net 4 is really what you want in this game, especially so. So the rates 1.2 doesn't change. Just keep going for 15 pulls. So yeah, let's test my luck. Um, you could opt for going singles, like, because at the end of the day, all you need from this is just one single Michiru. So if you get her within 10 pulls, that's good. That's good enough. You can just stop pulling from this banner anymore. Uh, so like, for example, if you pull a 10 pull and then you get her on the fifth on the fifth roll, then you may have just wasted 5 summons, so to speak. The rates on this game 
is extremely backwater, it's extremely low, um, it's really brutal in this game, the rates are crazy, so I would highly suggest that you just reroll. Um, reroll until you're really comfortable with the account that you're playing, but I do understand that like sometimes when you reroll, it really gets very tiring and you just lose the interest in playing the game after a while. I totally understand, I've, I have a long history of rerolling in games, so I'm fully aware of that. So this would be like my 500th time of not getting her. Ah, back to the grind again guys. Um, so yeah, just keep doing this until you eventually get her. And if anyone has gotten Michiru from rerolling, please let me know down in the comments below because I'd like to know that I like to know that it's still possible. I just need someone to tell me that it's it's true and I'll believe it. So yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope it has been helpful to you in some way. If it has, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, tell me what's so good about it, what's so good about my description, or what's so bad about how I'm describing everything. And of course subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you guys in the next one.